more can I say? Top billing. I all my Eagles brethren, fly Eagles fly. Your boy Jersey Murph here, sick as a bug, right? Can't even appear on camera. I look crazy. Uh, I think I have some type of inflammatory response, uh, um, allergic reaction, or something going on right there. I have really bad allergies anyway, and uh, I was doing dumb shit, doing yard work without my mask on and everything. So your boy down for the count here, but I try to bring you a little bit here because I'm so hyped for this win over the cowgirls. Now listen, I usually don't get into that fandom type shit. I come from the actual business here where I had to cover a myriad of teams. So, I mean, I've covered teams all in the Mid-Atlantic. That's my, my shit right there, the Mid-Atlantic. So I've covered the Giants, the Commanders. But you'll never see me cover no damn Dallas Cow. I cannot stand the Cowgirls. And I'm happy to get this victory here, despite the fact that we still have stuff to work on. But when you can do this like sweat, bang, look at that. Your man still right here. He was community pussy. We all know what community pussy is, right? That's hit glass, breaking case of emergency type chick <laughs> right there. And that's what he is right there. Everybody gets a turn because everybody was working this dude, right? Pause. Gotta pause that right there. Got Daffy Dak and his weird ass feet out there. Bang. And he got hit up in his throat, it looked like too. But look at this right here. Chop his ass. Look at his arm over. Fight the hands, bang! Sent that shock wave all the way to his deltoids, which went to his back, which went to his lower back, all the way into his spine and shit right there, right? And of course, then it shoots down his hamstring all the way into his calf, into his Achilles, into his foot, and all them shits rolled up. Bang, right there, community pussy, he was done. Man, so much for the old head stepping up in this game right here, man. Everybody always likes to talk about rookies, be rookie slurping, but sweat. Brandon Graham, uh, man, a couple of plays out there in the secondary by cats that haven't been looking that good. JB out there still looking a little rough slay as well there. But, man, all in all, though, man, one hand watches the other. Both watch the face. The offense able to pick it up. Defense able to be good in spurts. I uh, mean, you have to love this performance. What did I say? D-O-T-S. Depends on the situation. The Eagles can win any game against any team, right? So all the Cowboys fans was around here talking about they going to lose and this and that. The Commanders did this and that. And for the most part, the Cowboys were able to get off in similar fashion. They're just not as explosive as the Commanders. All right, here we go. We've all been in a drought before. Your man Brandon Graham in a sack drought here. So he gets to break, break glass in case of emergency on community pussy. And look at this right here. Oh, size him up and squeeze it on the inside. Oh, man, getting to Daffy Dak before he could do anything right there. Look at that. Made this man stand up. You see how he's running? He's looking like he's going to run the arc, right, just to decrease the space. Still don't know what to do with his hands right there. <laughs> he's all standing straight up, just like halt. Halt. Look at that. Hands to the face and anything right there, but it don't matter. Brandon Graham getting up under him. And listen, we know Brandon Graham got that old uncle strength, right? So your uncle at the at the at the uh, at the cookout and shit, the family reunion and shit. You think you could try your uncle? It don't work out that way. Stop trying your uncle, boy. Your man still gets knocked off his mark right there. Graham continues to work, and what a clutch ass play by Brandon Graham right there, fertilizing Daffy Dak and his weird feet that go out to the side like that. What's wrong with that boy feet? And why he think he Jalen Hurts so much? He be wearing Jalen Hurts shoes and trying to do the the, the uh, brotherly shove and shit. You notice they didn't do the brotherly shove this game, I don't believe, right? They kind of shot away from it. They been copying Philly all year. All right, you know me, I don't like the cowgirls, but man, I love me some C.D. Lamb college. I don't know if you guys were around here on the channel. I cover Oklahoma when Jalen Hurts was there and I was making them Jumpman Lamb shirts and, and hoodies and shit was selling like hotcakes. So me and C.D. Lamb got a connection right there. He put some money in your boy pocket. C.D. Lamb is the absolute truth. Notice how Sean Desai was able to go outside of himself. I said it before. Darius Slay is the one who looks like he could play on the inside, not James Bradbury and his Dr. Robotnik hips. Slay is the one with the fluid hips. If you can play man-to-man -man on the inside, man on skill, it would be with Slay. 
And look at this right here. They're able to bracket him. That's how much respect they give to C.D. Lamb here at the game. They're bracketing this man. A real double coverage. Not some goofy help over the top shit and people claim is double coverage. You have to bracket someone like C.D. Lamb because he's great in the mid-range and quick game. So that's really commanding extra attention there. But they bracket him inside out. Take that away and you can see your boy Darius Slay all over it right there, man. Hell of a play call and hell of a play to, to um as far as your personnel goes at one particular point in time it was Eli Ricks on the outside like I suggested Brain, James Bradbury on the outside and then Slay on the inside I had to get Sidney Brown up out of there man I'm trying to tell y'all that ain't Sidney Brown's game he was you know what I mean he might have been a little community himself he was having a terrible game again doing the man to man coverage thing they have to get some of those guys healthy in the slot Sidney Brown needs to be roaming that box all right, so for all these experts out there on the last one, when I did the thing about N'Kobe Dean, N'Kobe Dean gets hurt again, right? His foot should have been on a pitch count like he was when people were saying he got benched and all this and that, but they're trying to bring him back slowly. He still gets hurt. He does not play most of this game. Yet the same stuff happened that happened in the Commanders game. Same exact stuff. I can go through it and be extra petty about it, right? Well, I'll only be kind of petty because I'm sick and I got to go to bed soon. But same deal right here. You're your boy Morrow right here. What happened? I thought you're not supposed to let people cross your face and nobody else would ever do that besides N'Kobe Dean, Claytons. Same deal right here. Attack in the middle of the field. What can we do about this right here when you have to sink the depth right there, right? You definitely need to enlist in some type of coverage linebacker there. Um, having that split look right there that opens up the middle of the field, right? You either got to get that push. You got to have somebody at the zero technique putting their hands up, right? The Ravens really good at that. They did that ad nauseum on the Seahawks and batted down about 25 Geno Smith passes there. But the same kind of deal right here, if this was N'Kobe Dean, people would say, oh, he can't cover Cletus. He's too short, even though him and Morrow are the same exact size. Brandy Graham, your boy BG right here. Once again, community dude is, oh, community loving ensues. Look at the moves, man. Told you, man, your man still got that old man strength like your uncle at the, at the cookout. Look at this. Size him up. He's first to the punch. My man is still going back while he's getting punched in the in his damn in his shirt lapel right here, right? He's just reacting. He's catching. My man is able to do that and then get skinny. On the inside right there. My man has absolutely no presence, right? If your presence is to step up and make somebody not run the arc, you're doing a terrible job right here because you're giving them a free path to the quarterback because you can't work back inside. Once again, Daffy Deck having the, <laughs> having the flush. Think he has an exit plan, but he going to be leaving with exit wounds. Now, make no mistake about it. The Cowboys played damn good on offense. Um, and it was definitely a close game, no doubt about that, but close doesn't count, right? Close like Daffy Dax, weird-ass feet going out of bounds too early. Speaking of, if that man's feet was turned the correct direction, right, from um, 12 to 6 or whatever like that, it wasn't at like 3 to 9, <laughs> he wouldn't have stepped out of bounds on this joint right here. <laughs> what are we doing here, Daffy Dax? Take those joints off, man. You ain't Jalen Hurts. What are you doing? Uh, they definitely were making it hard at the end. I do not know what happened on this particular play, and I hate to even joke about it, man, but your boy A.J. Brown has made a steal. The man is still bang right there. Listen, my boy Philly Flyer, DeAndre Swift, he was out on his feet. You can see it. Cherries, lemons, bananas, all them shits right there in his eyes. <laughs> You can see through his visor right there, man. He was done. Absolutely done. I wonder why you would send motion at the same exact time. Usually you send that motion before, right? It would be the kinetic motion before the play, but the motion starts at the same exact time as the potential handoff right here. This is definitely a super miscommunication right there. And Oh, a damn shoulder right upside his chops. Damn. Once again, looking like Tyson Fury. <laughs> looking like Tyson Fury got hit by Francis Ngannou right there. Damn, man. This was scary for all types of reasons right there. And uh, they end up recovering the ball and all that. But, man, I definitely need to know what went wrong on that play. I got to hear uh, somebody hear about it in a press conference or something like that. If the motion was sent too early or if there wasn't supposed to be motion on this particular play. It looks like it's going to be one of those cross-formation blocks where you – 
where you peel the end man on the end, the end man on the line of scrimmage, and then use AJ for that one, right? Possibly to get wide, maybe have an option off of that to hit him in the flats. But man, that was some real, real bad timing right there. My boy Philly Flyer paid for it. I love that play earlier because it forced the ball somewhere else, right? And I was scared, to, scared as hell when I saw JB here and man coverage having to open up his hips. But uh, this particular route worked. In his favor right there, he's able to get, look at that. He's able to ball get down right here, come up out of that transition, right? Mirror the feet right here. Now, don't pay attention to what his hands is doing right there, uh, but he's right up in the hip pocket right here. And he, Dak has to throw an errant pass, and JB is right there. Bang, my man splatter whacked himself and everything. That shit was hype, man. Come on, man. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, man, I got to get up out of here, man. Hopefully I can, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'll be able to hop up at 4 in the morning like I usually do to do the mon Monday thing. But, man, if not, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. Big win by them birds. Remember, they were saying coming into the game that the the Cowboys was about to take the Eagles out. So let them have it. That shit didn't happen that way. 8-1, and one, right? And there was this dude running around the damn channel calling himself Skip Bates or something like that. He been on the Eagles since day one. Killing him. He's a Cowboys fan and shit. He said they're going to lose like the next seven games in a row. Well, that ain't going to happen because the first game that they won was against his team. So now what? Huh? Let's get it, baby. Your boy Jersey Murph. As always, much love to everybody out there, man. This game was super fun. I'll try to watch a little bit more of it before I go to bed. All right? Much love to everybody out there, man. Fly, Eagles, fly. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.